if there's a status that describes the relationship between the marketing and IT teams, it will be it's complicated. One of the main responsibilities of a marketer is to create an impactful customer experience. The marketing team will come up with ideas to improve it, but unfortunately the IT team will probably say, we don't have time, it's not you, it's me. And they're right, they have other priorities. And as a result, these ideas will take a long time to be implemented. So is this relationship still rocky in 2021? Let's find out. Hey guys, my name is Tarek and I'm one of the growth marketing trainers and coaches at Growth Drive. I'm also a huge fan of no-code, local tools. If you're not familiar with the concept, it's basically using tools that allow people with little or zero software development knowledge to create and build applications. No-code tools require zero coding and local tools require some knowledge of coding in some cases. These tools are basically the relationship counselors that fix the relationship between the marketing and IT teams because they help the marketing team become strong, self-dependent people. The team can now implement ideas quickly without utilizing IT resources. And when it comes to growth, being quick is crucial. And speaking of speed, these tools are also helping teams save a lot of time by easily automating repetitive tasks, thus providing more focused time on other priorities. According to a survey conducted by the Harris Poll on behalf of Zapier, 43% of respondents mentioned that automation software helped them complete tasks faster. And 36% mentioned that it helps their team focus more on important work. And for those reasons, no-code local tools are becoming more popular. The worldwide local development technology market is projected to total $13.8 billion in 2021, an increase of 22.6% from 2020, according to the latest forecast by Gartner. In another study, Gartner says that by 2024, 80% of technology products and services will be built by those who are not technology professionals. So yeah, these tools are here to stay. Now, if you're a developer and you're watching this video, you might have this look on your face. Don't worry, you're also here to stay, my friend. Another important benefit of using no-code local tools is to de-risk an experiment. The marketing team can independently run an experiment at a small scale, and if the results are promising, the development team can step in and scale up using actual code. After listing all of the benefits, there's one important question we need to address. Which no-code local tools should you use and when? That's technically two questions. You can use the part funnel to help you prioritize the tools you need to use. If you're not familiar with the concept, I recommend you check one of our videos where we cover it in depth. The link will be in the description. You basically need to identify which stage of that funnel requires the most attention, understand what happened and why, and then check if there's a tool out there that can help you fix it. My go-to platform to search for tools is Product Hunt, which is a website that helps you share and discover new products, including no-code local tools. You can also find the link in the description. So let's say, for example, you're struggling with onboarding new users on your platform. Just search for user onboarding in the search box and discover what tools are out there that can help you create an onboarding process quickly. Here we have user onboarding checklist by AppQs. It has many upvotes. Let's check it out. And voila, create stunning in-app experiences in minutes without any help from your developers. Small note, this was just an example and we're not affiliated with these tools whatsoever. So hopefully this technique helps you find what you're looking for. If not, here are my top five no-code local tools. Tool number one, if you're looking for a no-code tool to help you build a web application or an MVP to validate an idea, you can use bubble.io. Just check their showcase page and the apps built using it for some inspiration. They also have an academy in which they teach you how to build different apps for free. You can learn how to build your own Amazon, Airbnb, or even Tinder if you're not matching with anyone. I know how that feels. Tool number two. People are sick of ads. They're everywhere. So instead of promoting your products and shoving them down people's throats, I recommend you offer value first for free. It could be in the form of an assessment, quiz, or even a simple calculator. We call this engine marketing. You can check one of our videos to learn more about it. The link will also be in the description. If this is something you want to do, then you can use Outgrow. I also recommend you check their example page for some inspiration. Tool number three, is your phone leaking at the referral stage? Then I recommend you use Viral Loops. Using this tool, you can build and launch a referral campaign without writing a single line of code. This tool has a variety of templates, so it doesn't matter what industry you're in, you're bound to find something relevant to your business. It could be a milestone referral campaign, or a leaderboard giveaway, or anything else, basically. Tool number four, it's very important to map out your part funnel or customer journey because it will help you understand what's happening and why it happened. Tools like Google Analytics and Amplitude will help you understand the what. But to understand the why, you need to collect soft data. And this is where Typhoon comes into play. This tool will help you create interactive and engaging surveys that people enjoy answering. Tool number five, 
I mentioned earlier that one of the main benefits of no-code local tools is that they can automate repetitive tasks and save you a lot of time. And this is where Zapier comes in. Zapier is a tool that easily helps you automate tasks by integrating with different web applications. Maybe most of you, you have heard of Zapier before, but come on, it has to be in this list. Honorable mentions? I didn't include any landing page builder in my list on purpose. There are many of them and most probably you know they exist. So feel free to check tools like Unbounce, Webflow, Umso, Instapage, Squarespace, and many more to build landing pages without writing a single line of code. No-code local tools have really reshaped marketing and will continue to do so as technology evolves. And as a growth marketer saying, I'll wait for developers to do it for me, is no longer acceptable. They'll be there for you, but you have to start first. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite no-code local tool. And as usual, make sure to like, subscribe, and yeah, see you next Wednesday.